Okay guys, it's Bizmoto. I'm going to show you guys how to install one of these uh, Pugi uh, windshields. This one's a clone one. Uh, it's a crater actually. But uh, the first thing you need to do is you need to remove these two top bolts up here. And then you got to remove these top triple tree uh, bolts. So then, after that, you are going to need these right here, okay? By looking at the picture here, you need these first, okay? So you come over here, put these up here. One here. And one here. Okay. And I need to grab a wrench for this, so I'll be back. Okay, guys, I installed these. I used a 10 millimeter wrench. Um, I do not believe they supplied washers for down here, but I would recommend using washers. I tried putting these on. They were just digging into the plastic, so I put washers on. I'm not sure what size they are. You'll just have to find out for yourself. Just they're probably like five cent washers you get at a hardware store so I just happen to have a lot of them so I would recommend putting washers on even though they don't show it in the directions and I don't know if they supplied them or not for it but that's what I did okay I'll show you guys the next step in a bit okay the next step will be to put this bolt in you gotta use this little black spacer here put that in there and then put your bracket on and then put the bolt in just like that okay and then it's saying to use this one of these right here and put it right here okay so I'm going to get this stuff tightened up and I will be back. Okay guys, I got it installed uh, this far anyways. Um, like I said, uh, use the spacer here, the little black spacer they give you in the kit. Then the bolt, okay. And then these bolts they gave me for this were too long. They did not fit in the adapter they gave me. So I had to use the original bolts with the washer. Yeah, and just so you guys know, the hardware they give you is crap. It strips out very, very easy. It's Chinese crap. Um, for the bolts, if I were you, I would probably go to, uh, if you don't use the originals like I did, I would probably go to uh, Ace Hardware or something and get shorter ones than what they give you because they do not thread all the way in to those nuts they give you for this. So I just use the stock ones with a washer so it clamp it down so it won't move. Uh, it should work fine because you can see the gap you got here between the windshield and that so it should be fine um, And when you tighten down your nuts for your triple tree make sure you put a lot of tape on If you don't take this off first, and I don't see how you could so I would put a lot of tape down here so you don't scratch your fairings and I mean a, a lot of layers you can't use too much It's better safe than sorry and when you're tightening them down keep looking to see if you're ripping through the tape so that way when you get done, you don't scratch your fairings. Okay, I'll get back to you guys on the next step. Okay guys, your next step will be you grab these little rubber uh, crush nuts they give you, I guess they would be called, and you install them in here like this. You put one there, one there, and one there. And the reason, and another one down here. But the reason why they use these is because when you tighten them, they smush and spread out. And that's how you tighten your windshield. And it also gives it like vibration protection so it won't mess up. But like I said, with the hardware they give you, I'm not expecting miracles. Hopefully this works so I don't have to go run and buy some of these things. So, uh, yeah. So you put those on like that. And then you grab your windshield here. Yeah, I'm at the stop and I'll get back to you guys. 
Okay guys, the last step is to put these uh, Allen head screws in. Uh, before you put them in, put a little plastic washer on. And like I showed you, you screw them into the little rubber crush, wa uh, crush nuts they got. Um, this kit from Crater, um, their hardware is kind of crap. Uh, the, Allen <clears throat> the Allen heads strip out pretty easily. Uh, and like I showed you, the bolts that they give you for mounting it are, uh, you know, for up here where these nuts are, are th they're too long. So they're not even, they really won't work for that. So you need to buy shorter ones or do it the way how I did it. Um, and even the triple tree uh, Allen bolts uh, seem to be kind of cheap too because I, when I was tightening them, you could tell that they wanted to strip. So I kind of, you know, the Allen head part of it wanted to strip. So you got to be kind of easy with them. I would recommend if you're going to install this kit to go, like I said, to Ace Hardware and maybe buy different hardware for it. And like I said, get shorter, get shorter bolts for up here. Just a little bit shorter. You can see how much of a gap there is there. So you want to go about that much shorter. And... Uh, yeah, otherwise the kit looks okay. It looks it looks good. <clears throat> I think it'll it'll last. Uh, uh, the the crush nuts I showed you guys, the little rubber ones. Um, the head on them's a little small, so they wanted to pull through the hole all the time, and that's exactly what they did. But uh, when you tighten them, they they smush out. You can see how they smush, so it'll be all right. But that little the little rubber part should be on the other side of this metal bracket but like I said when the holes too small so when you tighten it down they kind of pull out so but overall the kits good for what you pay you know, I got this for like $28 or something like that maybe less than that and uh, it looks good I don't mind it I don't mind how it looks uh, hopefully this video helped you out I know it's not the best quality but yeah um thanks for watching like subscribe uh when i do something else i'll try to do another video on any work i do on this if i can hopefully i'll have some help filming next time so take care guys see you in the next video